Alrighty guys, so it's time for another special edition video. And this is after the new version 3 supercharger has come out. This is really exciting news since it's gonna allow Tesla vehicles to charge up so much quicker at superchargers. I'm sorry I'm a bit late on this, but I really wanted to do my research and know everything before I could make a proper video on this. So either way, let's jump into it. I have the official release from Tesla open up here so that I don't miss anything. But Tesla starts with saying that they have 12,000 superchargers uh, across the world and they're all on V2 supercharging. So what they've announced today is V3 supercharging and that's gonna allow super, uh, supercharging speeds of up to 250 kilowatts. They say that on average, that'll decrease charging times by 50%, which is quite impressive. And it'll allow us to just go into the supercharger, charge up quickly and get out. Now, they've said that they've started, they opened up their first supercharging station in the Bay Area today, and that's gonna be available to vehicles in the early access program. But uh, they say that they're going to open up more superchargers for pretty much everyone, V3 superchargers for everyone, in the coming month. Um, so that's gonna start with, like I think, upgrading existing ones. And I think they're, they're aiming to upgrade every single supercharger station. And of course, they're always building more supercharging stations. After that, V3 supercharging also um, is introduced only for Model 3s at this time. So, in fact, in the release itself, they say that it's for their biggest um, market vehicle, which is the Model 3. And they're doing it for the Model 3, and they also say that it's going to be for the Model Y, which is coming out in just over a week now. So that's also very exciting that's gonna be for those vehicles. But what I think really sucks and that's coming as a Model X owner is that they're not rolling it out for S and X just yet. I think that that's kind of bad on Tesla's part um, since it is the S and X owners who have allowed Tesla to be here. Now, I know everyone's gonna criticize me for that, eh, it's for Tesla's good, but you know, come on. Like they're just, they're not, they're not doing that right. That's, that's their bad and you have to acknowledge that. But anyways, let's go past that and let's talk about how great V3 supercharging is. They said that you can recover 75 miles of charge in just five minutes. So that's really impressive. And I think the big thing that's causing that is um, on the route heating, I think they've called it, it's called a on route battery warm up. So what it does is that if it realizes that you're coming up to a supercharger, it's gonna start heating up your battery. And that's actually, that's really smart because uh, what a lot of time is spent with uh, supercharging is that a lot of that time is spent heating up the battery so that it can accept more current but if they heat up the battery before you get to the supercharger then you're cutting down a lot of time in fact it's a 25% decrease then the next 25% which makes an eventual 50% decrease is the 250 kilowatt um, v3 supercharging so they say that they're going to roll that out to SNX owners eventually. And I believe that all Model 3s have been built to support V3 supercharging. They haven't said anything about Model S and X owners regarding V3 supercharging yet. So I'm not really sure if um, older S and X vehicles will be able to support the faster charging speeds. Um, but there are rumors that are saying that Tesla vehicles were never meant to support these speeds so the old ones won't be able to support the new faster speeds. What I do really hope that Tesla does for this, and I know that there's a, a doubt of them being able to do this, but if they, it's, it's basically like the charger unit. I don't think it's a difference in the battery. I think it's the charger unit that allows it into the battery. So if you were able to replace that charger unit with a new one to allow for that current now of course don't take me at my word because i'm not completely sure i'm not an electrical engineer but i think that the battery shouldn't be a big thing i think that newer batteries should be able to support those speeds but um, maybe for the very old model s's those may need to get a new battery but either way i feel like tesla should offer that option so we can get the v3 supercharging speeds Either way, we don't know about that yet, and I don't think that we will know about it for quite a while until this starts rolling out. I think V3 supercharging is going to make a big impact once they've put it out to most of the um, most of the uh, supercharging stations, which I think is going to happen probably by the end of the year. It's Tesla, unfortunately, and we have to accept that it's going to be slow. They're probably going to open up the first one for the public in the next two months, and they're going to start... Um, 
unveiling new and new V3 superchargers. But I think that the upgrade, enough, by no means do I mean all 12,000 are going to be done by the end of the year, but I think that in the US, at least half should be done by the end of the year. I'm not sure about the rest of the world, but I think that they're going to be focusing on the US for now. In addition to that, they are saying that Model 3 super, uh, supercharging times are going to decrease to like an 80% charge instead of half an hour. It'll take 20 minutes, maybe even less, maybe 15 minutes, since this is significantly faster. Now, if we talk about competition, that means talking about vehicles such as the Porsche Taycan, or you may know, know about it as the Mission E. So Porsche said that by 2020, they will have a supercharger network capable of 350 kilowatts. 350 kilowatts is a lot of power, and that would mean that you could get like 100% charge in just 10 minutes. If they're able to do that, Porsche, that's insane. But I have high doubts that they're going to be able to do that. And if, you know, Porsche and Tesla, they team up and they get something to work, that would be great because then maybe we could get speeds like that in the next couple years and that would that would really be fantastic because i think the one thing that's stopping people is the huge charging speeds and that's one big factor because you know when you're out for a drive and you just got to charge up you can fill up gas in like five minutes but for filling up uh, or well for charging up you need like a good 15 20 minutes now so if they could get that down even to half of that that's going to be impressive but as it is right now, this is really impressive at how they've gotten these speeds. And, oh, they say right here, our first non-beta V3 supercharger site will break ground next month with North American sites ramping in Q2 and Q3 before coming to Europe and Asia Pacific in Q4. So there you go. That's when we should be able to see more and more of these. Either way, if you do have a Model 3, uh, good for you because this is gonna get you some really great speeds and I hope that you enjoy that. Hopefully we can get our hands on a Model 3 so that we can experience these speeds for ourselves. but I don't know. Anyways, these speeds are going to be really impressive, and thank you guys for watching. Uh, there's going to be a Model Y unveil on Thursday, so not tomorrow, but next Thursday, and you can bet that we'll have a video on that. I'm very excited for that unveil. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, hit the like button, tell your friends, and hit the subscribe button since there's a lot of great content coming up, especially at Model Y. See you in the next one.